Hi guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and welcome to my channel. Um, if we haven't met yet, then my name is Charlotte, like I said, and I am a Squarespace SEO expert. And in this video, I am going to show you how to get started with Squarespace SEO in 2022. So new year, fresh energy, we're going to really take this as a chance to grow our website and as a result, help grow our business and our brand or our audience online for whatever kind of website that you happen to have. So if that's what you're interested in, then please stay with me. I'm going to be demoing everything on a Squarespace website and showing you step-by-step -step what to do, how to get started. So if you are either a complete beginner, you know, you're starting out with Squarespace SEO for the very first time, that's amazing. But also maybe you've kind of dabbled a little bit before, but want to make sure that you're doing things correctly, then you are in the right place and you'll see how that works because I'm going to be showing everything on a Squarespace site to you. So before we dive straight into the content, I want to show you that I have a amazing Squarespace SEO checklist. And this is, it's completely free. It's been downloaded by literally thousands of people, but it will show you everything you need to do to get started with Squarespace SEO. And it's, yeah, like I said, it's a really quick checklist. You can literally print it off, hang it next to your desk, just work your way through every single step on it. And once you do that, you'll be leaps and bounds ahead of everybody else with Squarespace SEO. So this video will be a wonderful starting point, but I really encourage you to grab this free Squarespace SEO checklist um, to take things to the next level, because why would you just stop here, right? So with that, with that being said, we are going to dive straight in now and um, start talking about Squarespace SEO. So You'll see here, I've got um, a Squarespace SEO website. This is just a complete demo website for a fake building <laughs> that I made up, fake business. Um, I'm gonna be showing it to you on, I think this is on Squarespace 7.0 on the Raleigh template in the Brian family, but it doesn't matter if your website is on 7.0 or 7.1. Everything I'm going to be showing you in this video is exactly the same, no matter which version of Squarespace you're on. So before I start demoing things on the site itself, the very first place that you need to start with Squarespace SEO is by doing a basic keyword brainstorming exercise, okay? Because sometimes you need to put yourself not only in your ideal client or customer or audience shoes, but think about how you can incorporate that onto your own website. So very, very basically, keywords are kind of like it's like the link between what someone is typing online into Google or another search engine, and then also how you're including those words or combinations of words or phrases on your website. So the very first step that I want you to do is grab a pen and paper or even like the, the app on your phone, you know, like open up notes here, Google Doc, I don't really care what it is, but I want you to, again, just think very basically and write this down. Be like, what do I want someone to type into Google so that they land on my website? Let me repeat that. I want you to just do a basic list of what you want someone to type into Google to land on your Squarespace website. So obviously that would be things like you, your brand name, your business name or something, but it could also be things like the main type of service that you offer. So let's say like wedding photographer in Seattle, or it could be if you do like linen t-shirts for infants I don't know right like you know or florist in Santa Fe or something like that right like those would be some keywords that you might be thinking of or it could be maybe like copywriter for SaaS companies or something right so you want to think about not only like who you are your name your brand your business but also like people what someone is typing for so that's the very first step that i want you to do and if you have multiple services or multiple products or if you're let's say a content creator or a blogger and you blog about different topics you know include all of that on the list there because again remember what we're doing in this very first step is we're putting ourselves in our ideal client or customer's mind and being like what are those people typing into Google? Because then that will guide us as we start including and incorporating those keywords on our Squarespace website in the next couple of steps, okay? So that's first step number one, is to do that very basic brainstorming keyword exercise. You know, I don't want you to dive deep into any keyword research stuff yet, because frankly, if you're watching this video, you're starting at the beginning, and that will just be too far ahead of you. So start with this, 
and then we'll go in. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually take a look at the Squarespace website. So you can pull yours up here and um, follow along with me. So what I want you to do is log into the back end of your Squarespace website. And again, remember, this is the demo site that I'm going to be showing it to you. And we are going to start off by looking at the three most important settings on the back end of your Squarespace website. Okay, because remember, your website is kind of like your home online, and there's the, the stuff that goes on kind of behind the scenes, right? And you need to make sure that you're taking care of that from an SEO point of view before we can even start moving on to more of the like on page content and all that sort of thing. Okay, so the first setting that we are going to do, and you can follow along with me here, is once you've logged in, you're going to go to settings and then click connected accounts. And here, what you're going to do, if it's not already done, is click on connected accounts and hit the G search console. Okay. And what this does is it means you're connecting and verifying your Squarespace website with Google search console. And this is really important because you basically need to establish this relationship so that Google can come and do something called crawling and indexing your website. It's a little bit technical, but it basically is just like your invite to Google to say like, hey, yep, come get my website, come check out the content and then return me in search results. Okay, so this step is really simple. You just, if you haven't already, just click it and then you're just going to connect your email address to it. Like just click it, follow the prompts through here, um, sign in with your, yeah, just like sign in with your address and follow the steps. It's very simple. Simple, easy, um, but packs a big punch. Okay, so that's step number one. The second step that we are going to do now is back here from the main navigation, we're gonna go over to the marketing tab. And from marketing, we're going to click on SEO. And then we are going to scroll down here to where it says the SEO site description. Okay, I hope you can see it. I've got my little video there, but don't worry. So essentially what this is, is that the SEO site description, this is your chance to tell Google exactly what your website is about. Okay, and in many cases for you, your website is going to be the same thing as what your business is about, right? So that's good. Um, so what I want you to do is again, refer back to that list that you wrote with all of the keywords and stuff. And because that's gonna guide us in this section. So what we're doing here, I want you to just take a look at it briefly and you can even like pause the video to you know read what I've, what I've written in here. But let's go through some of the principles of what you're seeing. First of all, it's natural language, right? I'm not just stuffing a bunch of keywords in there. Number two is I am front loading or you know, put front loading, AKA putting at the start at the beginning, the most important keywords that I want my website to rank for, right? And then from there, I'm also filling it out to use the full character limit. So I think here it's about like three or 400 characters. So I wanna try to use as much of that as possible. So again, this is a fantastic feature that Squarespace has, and I want you to make sure that you're doing it properly. So again, if you've been following along with me here, many of you that are watching this, it, this will be blank. And that's okay, no worries, because now you're here and you can fill it out. But if you're here and you're taking a look and being like, yo, mine doesn't look that good, or I haven't included keywords, or it's a little bit short, or I didn't front load the most important things, then I want you to just hit pause on this video and take a minute to just write it out here. So again, natural language, front load the most important keywords towards the start of the SEO description. And then number three is use a lot of, as much of the character limit as you can really. And again, the reason why we want to front load the most important keywords to the start is if you click here under search appearance, this is basically just like a preview of what happens if your Squarespace website shows up in a Google search result. So you can see that like not the whole thing is going to show up, right? And a real person is going to see this in the Google search result. So you need to have natural language, but you also, again, want to front load it because if someone's just skimming the first few lines, you want them to be like, yeah, okay, cool. That's exactly what I want. And then last but not least on this little section, Optionally, you can fill this out. So the SEO title format, the default will just be your site title. So like whatever you have kind of in the site title section, but you can always add a little bit more text to make it more keyword rich. So, you know, in this case, maybe I put the location or you could put like, you know, the type of business that you have or something like that. Okay, so then save. So that's what you're gonna do for step number two, okay? 
And again, remember this is for the SEO site description. So for your website as a whole, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're gonna do something really similar, but now we're gonna look at it on a page by page or blog post by blog post or even product by product basis, right? So before we told Google what the whole website is about, but now we're gonna get specific and tell them what each one of those pages, posts, collection items, whatever happens to be. So this part, before we dive in, I'm gonna, I'm like leading forward to, to make sure that you know that this is important. The thing I want to emphasize here is that you need to get specific about each page, okay? And you think about it because again, when you're looking at like the portfolio page versus the contact page, when you're like, well, let me show you first of all how to open it. So let's say with this contact page, um, for any of the pages, you're going to click on the gear icon, open the page settings, click SEO. And then down here, again, you're going to fill out the SEO description section, okay? And um, so that's what we're going to be doing. So again, think about the, the, what we're filling this out here, natural language, keyword rich and front load the most important keywords. And then number three is generally speaking, you wanna to try to use as much of the keyword limit as possible. But in the case of a contact page, like there's only so much you could say about a contact page. However, the character limit is gonna be much more important when you start moving on, let's say like, one of the services pages or the portfolio, right? Like you're gonna to wanna to use the full character limit there. So the thing that I want you to keep in mind here is again, when you're filling out these SEO descriptions for like the about page or the services pages or your product pages, whatever it happens to be, you have to think about the fact that like what you're putting for one of these, you can't just copy and paste it for all the different pages, right? Like you need to, speak specifically to Google and tell them what every page is about. So, you know, again, just don't copy and paste the same thing for everyone. Instead, make it specific. And that doesn't mean you can't use almost like a little template or something, but it does have to be unique to the page in order to be most effective. So I want you to go through that and take a look at all of the different pages. And then once you've done the pages, you're gonna do something similar with the blog posts too. So I'll just show you this, for example, um, you know, open up a blog post here. And then under the post settings, you can see that there's the SEO tab. And again, <laughs> this is like, what, what am I doing here? Tell Google what the blog post is about. Use keywords. Don't just copy the introduction from it, right? Because you want to front load the most dominant keywords associated with your website, the main topics you're covering in this blog post. And then, you know, if you have space, you can say like, read the post now or something like that. Okay. So, and then same thing too, if you have products, like if you do e-commerce or something, you'll want to fill out the SEO descriptions for those ones as well, okay? So again, that is the third point that I want you to think about. And again, just to reiterate, it's that you're filling out the SEO descriptions for all the different pages, blog posts, products, pages, galleries, whatever it happens to be on your Squarespace website, okay? And then the last point that I want you to think about on how you can get started with Squarespace SEO um, on your Squarespace website in 2022 is that you need to think about, first of all, what content do you have on your website and how does that match up with the list that you just did, okay? So think about the different services pages that you have or the different product pages that you have or something like that, you need to ask yourself, like, are you creating enough specific content around each one of these like key pillars of keywords that you want, or are there some gaps that you need to fill out? And so in that case, this step, the, the last step that we're talking about here is you need to audit the pages and the content on your site. So in one case, you might look and be like, oh yeah, like, you know, the, I've got good pages, but I'm not really blogging and taking advantage of that new content. So in that case, you would start blogging or start blogging more effectively. Or you might be looking and being like, hey, I've got like all my services pages on one, all my services stuff on one page. So that's actually really conflicting for SEO. So instead you would like break it down um, and have separate pages for each one of your services, right? Or same thing with your products. Maybe you're just shoving it all on one page when instead you should be like breaking it out a bit more. Or you're thinking, hey, like I have something on a page on my website, but I don't even need it anymore. Then come on in here and like clean it up, you know, delete it. So doing this audit of your content that you have on the website 
and then coming up with ways that you can improve it and make it more SEO friendly will be really, really helpful. Okay? So my friend, that is a brief introduction on how you can get started with Squarespace SEO in 2022. I hope you found it helpful. Um, we covered some basic brainstorming for keywords. We covered some settings. And then we talked briefly about the actual pages and content of itself and thinking about it on a more SEO friendly way. So this is information that I share with all of my clients, with the students in my programs, um, anything like that. So, you know, here you are getting it today in the most updated and simplified form. And I really hope you found it useful. So before you go, don't forget that there is the Squarespace SEO checklist. And um, if you liked this video so far, then I know that you're going to love all the points that we talk about in the checklist because it's just like it goes to such a better level. And again, it's step by step. Follow along each point on your Squarespace website and you can go for it. And also here, I wanted to say that my website, oh, I should have opened it up here, is um, charlotteohara.ca. And oh, the internet's like really slow right now. I think it's because I'm running all the videos and programs and stuff. So if you wanna take a look at all of the different like blog posts, the, um, you know, the freebies, the resources, the ways you can work with me as a Squarespace SEO expert, then please take a look at my website because um, I know that this is just, again, the tip of the iceberg here in this video, and you're going to love it. So if you liked this video, please like the video or leave me a comment down below. I'll be taking a look and see if there's any questions or stuff too, if you have that. Um, you can also take a look at the other videos that I have here on my channel. I talk a lot about Squarespace, SEO, growing your website, online marketing, um, things like that. So take a look at the rest of that. And you can even subscribe too, because heaven forbid you would miss a video on Squarespace SEO. Oh my God, imagine that, right? <laughs> All right, my friends, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me here in this video and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.